Hello, my name is Dave Hunsicker. I'm Vice President of Research and Operations for Creative Polymers. Welcome to our laboratories. Today I would like to take you through a new product line we're calling Petrol Armor, which is a 10-step gas pump island and canopy repair system. Before me I have all the components that are included in a kit that we sell for all the steps included in one package to restore gas pump islands. Let me take you through the process. Um, first in the kit comes our rust converter product that converts rust, which is a very common problem with canopies and gas pump islands, converts it from a rusty surface to a primed oxide surface that can accept the coatings and not corrode for years to come. Second step and second product in the series is our rust prime, which is a two component epoxy primer that coats the metal after we're prepared and prevents corrosion even further and allows a good surface for the coatings to stick to after. Our third product in the series is our uh, epoxy gel filler which fills in cracks and various defects in the metal and surface of the concrete on the gas pump islands. Um, and then finally getting to our petrol armor product itself, which is a two component urethane system with an optional texture additive that can be added to the product to give a nice non-slick surface to walk on without slips or falls. Now this series of products was developed to alleviate the problems associated with the restoration of gas pump islands and the canopy support structures. Namely, the cracking and spalling of the concrete, the overall poor appearance of other types of non-suitable coatings being used for the process, um, the rusty and corrosion inhibited um, metal panels that are on the side of the gas pump island um, and the support structures that go with it. On the rust converter product, uh, as you can see from our sample here, on the left side is an untreated surface, rusty, corroded metal. Next to it you can see the treatment, the rust converter treatment that was added to it which pickles the metal and turns it into an oxide surface that is easily paintable and won't corrode for years. Third is our primer step, which is a two component epoxy primer designed for extra level of corrosion resistance. Then finally followed by the petrol armor coating itself, which here is a black, comes in gloss or textured color. Take the rust inhibitor squirt bottle and spray this over the existing rusty metal on the, the island itself. You're going to let that sit for a few minutes and then wipe off any of the excess. Um, our next step in coating the island after we've ground down all the metal and gotten the rust off We've power washed, we've converted our rust to a nice black oxide finish. The next step is to apply our epoxy corrosion inhibiting primer. So what we have is a good two component epoxy primer that has a ratio of one part A to four parts B. Now this has to be mixed up at that ratio or it will not cure and adhere correctly. So here, Ryan has got uh, four A or four Bs and one A to mix together prior to applying to our metal on the Petro Island. Now, what this epoxy primer is designed for is to adhere to the metal structure of the pump or canopy structure and prevent corrosion for years, literally. Um, it mixes at 1A to 4B, dries to touch, and is paintable in 2 to 3 hours at 70 degrees. 
and has about an hour, hour and a half pot life at 70 degrees. So you only want to mix up as much as you're going to use in an hour. There is no induction time on this epoxy. You pretty much mix it up and it's ready to put on. So what Ryan's going to do, he's going to mix it up now that he's got it volumetrically measured at 1A to 4B. And we're going to brush it out on our rusty island over the rusty spots and we'll put it on a drawdown card in the laboratory just to show you how it applies. Okay, Ryan now has the epoxy mixed up at a 1A to 4B ratio and he's going to brush it over the rusty surfaces on the metal structure of the gas pump island. This can also be used on the pole structures and canopy structures as a corrosion inhibiting product. Um, it has about an hour pot life and you can coat your next coating over it within three hours. When you're brushing out the epoxy, you don't want to get it too thick. You want to just put enough to get opacity with the film and hide the surface underneath. Uh, three to four dry mills or six to eight wet mills at the most needs to be applied over the metal. And again, at 70, 80 degrees, you're going to be able to coat it with the Petrol Armor product within three hours. Okay, the next product I'd like to talk about that goes on after the metal primer is our two component epoxy filler, which is similar to Bondo but has much more adhesion and chemical resistance that's designed to fill in the cracks and voids over the top surface of the pump as well as the metal structure of the pump. So, Ryan is going to mix this product up. We have it on the board here at one to one ratio. Um, this product needs to be thoroughly mixed together uh, using a spatula or other type of uh, mixing spatula. You have about a 10 minute pot life with this material and it turns hard. So you need to only mix up as much as you can mix up and use in 10 minutes time or it'll gel up. So once the product is mixed thoroughly, you're going to go over to your substrate and on this piece we're going to simulate filling in a crack. Okay, once the product is mixed up at a one to one ratio, you're going to trowel it over the cracks and bridge the concrete voids, fill in any gaps. Uh, Voids. You can use it on the metal side, filling in any holes. Um, again, this has a pot life of about 10 minutes and it's ready to paint over in about 30 minutes. The Petro Armor is a two component urethane coating which has an A and a B component. It's a 1A to 2B mix ratio which means it has a limited pot life of about an hour and a half at 70 degrees. Before you mix the A with the B, the B component, which has the color, needs to be thoroughly mixed and agitated prior to mixing with the A. There's a lot of solids and dissolved pigment on the bottom that has to be brought back into the mix. The B component, we're going to mix two parts of the colored warm gray with one part of the hardener or A side. Again, it has an hour and a half pot life. You only want to mix up as much as you can use in that time frame. You 
want to have it exactly 1A to 2B, otherwise your ratio will be off and the performance of the product will be affected. Okay, and then he's going to put it into a mixing vessel and thoroughly mix it with the drill and jiffy mixer. You don't want to just stir these two components together. You want a very aggressive mix with a drill and a jiffy mixer. Cleanup can use any kind of ketone or active solvent to clean the blades and the mixers and any spills up. You can use acetone, any kind of ketone. More aggressive, more aggressive, that's not enough. I can't. can do something. Definitely want to mix this thoroughly. Now Ryan is going to roll out. This product either comes in a neat material or texture. So first we're going to demonstrate the neat material that doesn't have a texture in it. And with the Petro Armor product, it is a semi gloss. So as an option for the Petro Armor, you can add our texture additive, which is a fine sugar sand-like texture additive that we add at 20% by weight. So we have approximately 500 grams of the untextured material that we're going to put back in our mixing chamber and add 20% of the texture, which is about 90 grams. And then we're going to thoroughly mix that in with a Jiffy mixer. You want to use the Jiffy mixer with the texture again because you want a real aggressive mix. You don't want any clumps. You don't want any uh, big chunks of texture that don't get mixed in thoroughly. Doesn't affect the pot life at all. It just it simply adds a texture to the surface. Okay, so now Ryan's going to roll out the texture, which was simply just adding 20% of the texture added. Using the same pan, same mixing cup, roll it in. Definitely want to do a two coat with this to uh, crosshatch apply 
so that you don't chunk up the texture. But what this is designed to do when the island gets wet, it prevents slips and falls on the surface. That concludes our review of the products with the Petrol Armor product line. Um, they are available direct from Creative Polymers. If you'd like to call us, we are at 314-524-0191 or you can order online at petro-armor.com.